I, it's kind of funny. My mom probably seen Isis story when she was like nine months pregnant or eight months pregnant. So, you know, it's a pretty interesting story. But uh, uh, I grew up. Uh, I went to neighborhood high schools, and then I, for well, I went to neighborhood elementary school for high school. I went to a high school called Phoenix Military Academy. That I think so many people might know. And then for college, I ended up going to U of I in Champaign. With, I just graduated in May with a degree in chemistry, so I'm kind of proud of myself a little bit. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, um, yeah. So right now, uh, currently I'm doing, you know, a lot of things that successful people do, like yourselves, which is just work and your typical nine to five. But uh, cool. But like, um, I think the most important thing I want to talk about though is like uh, the entire process of greenhouse before uh, becoming a greenhouse, which is like the application process. And then like the tremendous effect, effect that it had in me in college. So, I mean, growing up and uh, Phoenix, well, going to Phoenix Military Academy, like uh, I was surrounded by a bunch of violence, gangs, and that kind of thing. And I consider myself to be blessed to be one of the, I guess, few kids that they have fallen into that lifestyle. And uh, I mean, I'm gonna be completely honest. I mean, there was a time in my life where I was going down the wrong path. You know, I got in trouble with the police a couple of times. Mom needed to be called to the police station. You know, I was, I was like 12 years old, you know? I mean, everybody goes through those phases, I think. So then, um, but when I got to high school, you know, military school, I needed to cut my hair. It's a lot longer than it is now. I had earrings and everything, but I was trying to be straight edge, you know? So it wasn't until my sophomore year that I got pretty serious when I had a teacher tell me, like, hey, you're not that dumb, bro. You're kind of smart. You could go to college and do something with your life. Like, okay, so I took AP exams, and I ended up passing a bunch of them with, like, the highest scores you could get. And I was like, okay, you know, I'm going to go for college. I'm going to do this thing, so why not? And I ended up just being able to apply to different scholarships. And then when I played Greenhouse, I was like, you know, nobody else in my school knew what Greenhouse was. I kind of just read about it on like an online forum that, that talked about scholarships. And so I was like, oh, cool, I'll fill out this application, no big deal, whatever, right? And then I ended up getting a call like, hey, you know, you're pretty good. Like, I want you to submit the rest of this application. You need to find recommendation letters. Uh, find somebody, a friend, to write you a recommendation letter. So I think that was one of the hard parts because I was like, wow, like, some of my friends still can't even write a full sentence. Like, I need to find somebody to write this recommendation letter for me. So I ended up being able to find, you know, somebody to kind of write it for me. I wrote, I wrote it for them, but... <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, so I wrote the recommendation letter, and I think the interview was, like, where I kind of realized that this is where I really wanted to be, and, like, I wanted to make sure that I did everything I could to receive the scholarship. It was because I walked into a room where, you know, it's senior year, so at this point I haven't really been used to in interviews and that kind of thing, but I walked into a room with nine other people there. They were all just staring at me, kind of like how you all are doing right now. <laughs> I walked in and I sat down, and it was just, let's go, question after question after question after question. But I think what struck me the most is that the questions they were asking, they weren't really judging me based on like a GPA or like, you know, what my ACT score is, which you know, they were pretty high, right? I didn't see you about it. But I mean, they were judging me more about like my personality and like what I was gonna do to change the world, right? I mean, it's important about things I could do for greenhouse, but like, you know, what was I gonna do? And so, um, ace the interview. So then, like, I, guess, like, I got to U of I, and then uh, it was it was tough. So my graduating high school class was about eighty students, and then um, I think the smallest class I ever had at U of I was like three hundred. So it was like at some points of a, in my college career, I felt like it was a little bit of a shadow. I mean, at some points I ended up finding my niche after a few years, but at first it was it was hard. And I think that that's where like greenhouse really proves how how much of an effective program it is because. Um, well, this is another thing I have to admit. I was on the more fortunate side because I did go to U of I, so it was like nine other scholars that went to U of I because it's such a big school. So then whenever I needed help, I could just quickly get on a group chat or text message and just say, hey, like, if you're another Greenhouse Scholar, can you please help me out? And uh, another thing that Greenhouse Scholars does is uh, they pair you with a mentor. So my mentor has been amazing. His name is Brad Goldsberry. So I, I ate lunch with him every single time I would come back from college. I see him now all the time. But uh, I would always talk to him. I'd be like, hey, like, Classes are tough, you know, I'm walking into rooms where like, people don't really look like me, don't really know my story, or kind of just, I can't relate to them. The only thing I could find comfort in is like, in the gym, or like, in that dining hall when I eat. But um, it was like, uh, he just told me, he's like, hey, you know, like, this is what college is, it's a big jump, but you knew it from the get-go that it was gonna be a big jump. So it's like, you gotta do in there, you gotta, you know, try the best you can to find your community, and just do you. I was like, all right. So then, I'm glad to say that like I went through like uh, I think it was my sophomore year was like the, the toughest year. And that was mostly because I was in that transitioning phase where like I was taking a bunch of like weed out classes and like I was taking like a bunch of like calculus classes where like I graduated high school and I'm not even knowing how to spell calculus so like it's like, kind of hard. And then uh, yeah and then it wasn't then where I realized that I was pretty much calling a greenhouse scholar like every other week or like I was talking to uh, Andre or anybody else that works for greenhouse scholars. 
And then, um, yeah, I can honestly say that they helped me get into college. And then uh, even just this past year when I was graduating, I would get calls in September and October from people in the, in the program and they would say, hey, like, if you need help with resume or if you need help with like finding jobs, you got you. And at that point, they were like, we're pretty sure you're not gonna have a hard time because you did what you're supposed to, got your grades and you did the internships. But the fact that like I'm a senior and there's like freshmen and sophomores in the program and they still care about me is great. So mm -hmm. it's a little bit more working. Thanks. Great. Mm -hmm.